connecting the wrapped pill to the captive portal and registering the device. Remove the battery from the pill. Then remove the blue tabs and insert the battery the correct way. Charge the pill until the red light turns off. Just a quick note, the green light will also turn off in this time, but don't worry. When you're ready to connect the pill to Wi-Fi, simply unplug the charging cable and plug it back in. This will activate the green light, which means the captive portal will be open, but only for 10 minutes. You'll then be able to open the Wi-Fi settings on your phone or tablet and connect to the wrapped pill network. Let's do this now. Select the wrapped pill network from the drop-down menu. Then you'll be asked to enter a password. All of the Kegland wrapped pills will have the same password, which is Kegland1, all lowercase, without any spaces. Now we'll connect the device to your home Wi-Fi network. If you're using a Wi-Fi extender that is closer to the pill, you'll want to connect to this. It must also be a 2.4 gigahertz network. It will not work with the five gigahertz. You'll then need to enter your Wi-Fi password. It's quite handy if you have this copied on your phone already, just so you can paste it in. Now that you've linked your pill to the internet, we need to register it in the wrapped portal. Now click the registration link at the bottom. Now that your pill is connected to the internet, the wrapped service can now generate a validation or user code that you will use to register the device to your wrapped account. If your pill times out after 10 minutes, the validation code will change, but the MAC address will always be the same. If your phone easily times out, taking a screenshot can be really helpful. Jump on over to a computer and right up the top, we're gonna to type in app.wrapped.io. If you haven't created an account, now's a good time. Otherwise, log in with your details. In the top left-hand corner, you'll see add new device. We'll click on here. Then a little bit further down, there'll be pill in brackets, digital hydrometer. We'll then want to click on that one. A window will pop up with information of basically what we're doing now. So we'll just go ahead and click next. This is where it can get a bit tricky for some people. You'll first be asked to enter the MAC address. Now this is a hexadecimal code. In short, that means there are no letter O's. There will only be numbers zero to nine and letters A to F. And then we'll pop in the validation code and click next. Then we can name the pill and you can name it anything you want. Data will then come through shortly into the wrapped portal. We at Kegland like to calibrate the pill before pitching yeast into our fermenter using the advanced calibration method. It's super easy using a jug of diluted stellar sand to get a base reading of 1.000 We'll then put it into the fermenter and calibrate it to our starting gravity with a refractometer. Thank you for watching. If you have any videos you'd like to see me get my hands on, shoot us an email or comment below. And as always, happy brewing.